Okay, we are with Fiano Fotiu, member of the Greek Parliament and professor at University of Athens. Uh, Madame Fiano, how is the situation in uh, Greece right now? The situation is worse and worse because we have something like two million unemployed uh, and uh, the uh, austerity policies they are bringing a humanitarian crisis and also the dissolution of all the welfare state also of the common goods that uh, the Troika wants us to be privatized and sold out and also the uh, education and health system uh, are collapsing under these policies. An unemployment uh, that hits the youth uh, for 60% and the women for 31%, etc. So the people is facing problems of uh, finding food, uh, of uh, having uh, medical care, finding uh, drugs and medicines and uh, uh, so we have um, really to help people to survive. That the people is uh, organized, self-organized, without money, voluntarily, and uh, they support and they um, produce and uh, they create uh, social clinics, social pharmacies, social groceries. This is the real sure. strike. To the, to the neoliberalism ideology, which uh, promotes isolation. What about the rise of the extreme right wing in the Greek parliament and the Greek society? Fascism uh, is raised. I mean, because of the, the people has no jobs, um, because of the memoranda of the lack of democracy. People, they are becoming Euroscepticism, they are turning to the, uh, to the right. You know, normally when uh, um, people, when the crisis is coming, the economical crisis, and the people are suffering, they don't turn themselves to the left, but they normally they turn themselves to the right, to the extreme right. We have all these uh, structures to confront the fascists in the same field that created them. Is it true that the, this uh, extreme right part is giving money to, to Greek citizens to attract votes? Yeah, yeah. They give money and they give foods in, uh, in the way of charity. It's uh, our actions are just the opposite because we don't want to make uh, people passive to take uh, money or food but just to involve people to find out how they work together in order to find food. What do you expect from the European Union? Uh, the European Union as it is now, unfortunately. Uh, we don't think that they, they are willing to help us. Uh, what the European Union has to do is to change radically. Because if it remains the same, then it will be dissolved by its own. Because they cannot serve any more the principles of equality, of solidarity, of dignity and of freedom. Are you a Eurosceptic? You and your party? No, not at all. We are pro the European Union, but n not in this, this kind of European Union that destroys countries, that brings inequality between the citizens of Europe, not only the, uh, the citizens of Europe, but also the states, the countries of Europe. The Euro has not the same meaning or the same value between the countries anymore after the Cyprus crisis. The countries that they are in the south and they suffer nowadays because of the austerity policies, they are not equal with the other countries. In Cyprus and in Greece, we don't feel any more secure 
secure by means of peace that the European Union had guaranteed for the state's member. This is not a Euroscepticism. Uh, we don't want to quit Europe, to get out and to be back in the former nation, count, nation uh, countries. We want to make a new European Union.